Hi everyone, this is Anjul Patak and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn something new. So we will learn like how can we create slicer looking filters in Tableau. So you have in Excel these nice slicer looking filters which you can you know prepare in Excel. But we can do it in Tableau as well. So we will see this use case in today's video. So let me first show you how does this uh, dashboard look like. So once you have prepared this dashboard, it will look something like this. And let's say we have here region filter. So basically region values will be over here. And then we have measure values over here. Uh, so let's say we want to look for West and West. So here it will be displaying West and the sales for West. So here currently sales is being selected. So sales and combination for west, combination for south, north, you want to change the measure, you can change, right? So this way it will work and let's see how we can build this. So let's start building these views and we will see what steps are necessary to build such slicer types of uh, filters. Okay, so first step would be to create the parameters. So first parameter, let's say it's, um, I want to create uh, slicer looking filter for region so it will be region parameter and region parameter will have string values and it will be list so I have central value north east west south and for all the regions I'll just select all here yeah, I'll write all okay and uh, then just press OK. And after creating region parameter, let's create another parameter with, which will be measure parameter. So this way we can change the measure name also on the chart, sales or profit or discount or quantity, whichever measure you want to display. So this I'll label it as measure parameter. And again, this will be string data type and it will be list. And here I want to, let's say, play with the first sales, then profit, and then discount, and then quantity. So these four major names I want to place in the this parameter, okay? So these two parameters are created. Now what we'll do is, we'll uh, create a region filter, okay? Which will be necessary for displaying the slicer looking labels. So oh, let us create a calculated field. This will be like selected region filter. And this calculation will be used for uh, applying the filters of region. So just uh, uh, provide calculation that region parameter, it should be either equal to region or, or region parameter should be equal to all. Now all is not there in our database. So that's why we are using this uh, condition basically or. So in either case, I mean whether there is a region which is present in our database or if it is all, give me the uh, true value, right? So let's select this. That will be true and false binary calculation. And then I also need uh, labels. Right, if you have seen here, I have this labels also dynamic labels. So for that also, I'll need a field to be created. Okay, so for that, let me create calculated field and label it as selected region label. Okay. And uh, it will be like if let's say count distinct of your region Okay, that is equal to one, then just give me the region name, right? Okay, else give me all regions. So anyways, we'll have one region selection only. Uh, so that will give you the region name and whenever there's all selection, it will give me all regions. Okay, so this is for the label part. Let me click okay here. Now what we can do is, uh, we'll also create one selected measure field. Okay, we have to link the parameter 
to a calculation so let me call it as let's say selected measure and we will link it with the parameter so case measure parameter and when your parameter value is let's say sales then i want uh, sum of sales right and when it is profit then i want uh, sum of profit and when it is uh, quantity then i want uh, sum of uh, quantity and when it is uh, discount i want average of uh, discount so i'll just take average of uh, discount and then end so this i've linked the parameter to the calculation and this calculation i'll use for the chart so just click okay over here and then let's make the chart first so let's first drag the order date and i'll take it by let's say quarter and uh, selected measure so i'll just take selected measure over here and uh, i'll also show the parameters for your reference so let me show this parameter as well as this parameter so we'll see that currently sales is selected so here we are displaying the sales values and you can change this if let's say i want it in a bar you can do this and you can reduce the size also let's say i want it 75 so you can play with the width of the bar here and now what i want to do is uh, i want to link my region parameter also here so i'll uh, bring in the selected region filter which i just created here and that will be only true okay so now it got adjusted for central we need region label also so we have just created this calculation i'll just drop it in detail and then we can access it here in the title so let's say we want uh, we want that whichever is the measure measure for let's say for your uh, region label okay so and we want to highlight these so let me create it as star blue bold and different color and same for this one and then click okay so now you will see that we have a chart and these values will be dynamic so when i select profit you will see that it's now displaying what this chart is profit for central when i change this to east it will display that this is profit for east so i have made the uh, title dynamic in nature right now the only thing which is left is basically we want to change these parameters basis or slicer filter selection right so let's first create those slicers and then we will link those slicers to this sheet okay so for creating that first one is the region so we'll just simply drop region over here and then let's hide this over here we don't need region over here hide those and we don't want labels so just make it white and then just increase the size a bit here and a bit of size over here and then just reduce this line and then there's just some formatting which has to be done so let's go here what we'll do is alignment we'll do center and uh, these are headers so we'll mostly focus our header over here then font also if you want uh, you can change maybe tableau bold and uh, if you want to increase you can increase a bit and then just play with the border so border i want let's say uh, this slightly gray and this also slightly gray and then we can have in columns uh, header header this one and this one is also done and then color these basically blocks which will make it a slicer look 
so this i want to color let's say header as uh, maybe light gray something of this sort so you'll see that we have created a slicer looking filters over here this is for regions so let me rename this as region slicers okay now same way what we'll do is we will create for measures okay so first put a filter of measure names because i want only profit discount quantity sales okay then take this measure names here in uh, columns okay and then take measure values in detail okay and then take measure names in text also over here and now you will see that we have these measure names as text over here and just hide the show header so uncheck it and uh, hide this title and let's make it a bit large then again you just have to format it a bit so let's go here and then let's say increase the font change the font and uh, change the alignment to center then i want uh, let's say this one so i selected borders and uh, then what else i can do over here let's say little bit of formatting tweaking okay and then you can just color code these boxes so let's uh, make it uh, gray in color okay and if you want to just change these uh, outlines to white you can again go back here and maybe change this color to white so that your slices will stand out over here okay once this is done okay this is done so we'll rename this as the measure slices and this is our main chart so chart so these two are done now let's create the dashboard so we'll go to dashboard and uh, bring in main chart here then region slices at the top major slices and let's hide this uh, title we don't need them mm -hmm. and uh, you can adjust these settings and you can then increase the size of the dashboard pick size to let's say increase the width and uh, increase the height also slightly right and uh, then we just have to link these slicer values to this chart because now, right now if you click here nothing happens right so let's go to dashboard and into actions we we'll go to actions and here we have an action called as change parameter so just click on that and call it as a region parameter update because we'll update the region parameter so my source sheet will be region slices and target parameter will be region parameter source field will be region and when i clear the selection i want it to be set as all because i have all value in my region parameter so i'll just have that selected click okay again add one more change parameter this time it will be measure parameter update and source sheet will be measure slices target will be measure parameter source field will be measure names and this time i'll leave it as keep current value because we don't have anything as all here okay so just click okay and then click okay now let me just make it full screen and now you will see that how these clickings will basically change the uh, this title as well as the chart and this is for just for our reference so you will see what selections we are making so when i click west you will see that title has been adjusted to west my parameter also has changed to west likewise for south north east central and if i click here the white space it will be all right all regions 
so this is perfectly working and here also if i have to change from profit to let's say sales you will see that it has changed now sales for all regions now sales for west so this way you can very easily adjust your chart and make your title also dynamic using the change parameter actions so there are three steps involved in this process first one is to create the parameters second is to link those parameters to the visual you which you are creating and third one is to basically create the parameter values and then using them in change parameter actions so without change parameter actions this process will not work right there would be other ways but yeah this use case is uh, from the perspective of change parameter action so i hope you like this video so do subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you